at least once a week where I'm getting a, a report of a theft and that's what's being reported I'm gonna guess that there are several others that are going unreported and um, the, the best thing I could say for the thefts is just lock it up and I, I know we've mentioned at the beginning of the year and um, I'm hoping that the gym teachers are, are reminding the students at the at least at the beginning of each quarter to just lock up your items the items that are being stolen are not uh, they're just out there for a taking and so it, it's it is preventable. Have any recent fights broken out? Um, lately, no. Um, there were some at the beginning of the year. Uh, they were dealt with, both with the school and the police, and uh, perhaps that's what, what stopped the fighting. There, there's, there's been less of it. Um, there was one I heard of the other day, and, and uh, um, it, it broke up prior to the police arriving, and it was just off school property. So uh, other than that, there hasn't been anything lately. What do you do outside of Salem High School? Um, what do I do as, as a police officer outside? Um, the position of school resource officer is my, is my full-time duty right now. I work 40 hours here at the high school. Um, I will take overtime shifts, so I, I'll still work patrol. Uh, I'll drive around in a police car uh, nights and weekends and stu still do the, the, in Salem we get a lot of shoplifting calls. Uh, we get domestic um, calls. Um, stuff like that, just enforcing the laws around town. Do you enjoy working here? I love working here. love working here with the, the students. I love working with the teachers, uh, the parents. Uh, there are some hard days. Um, we you know, we may, not, may not always agree on uh, what to do with some of the students or with some of the, the children. Um, but what we're trying to do is, is, is to help, and, and um, that's the rewarding part. Um, last year I received a letter. Uh, a parent was so pleased with uh, what, what we did to help their child. She wrote a letter to their Governor John Lynch, and he in turn uh, responded and sent a, a letter to me, um, you know, just thanking me. And, and it's, it's rewards like that that it makes it all worth it. What problems do you deal with in school that students wouldn't know about? Um, I grew up in Salem, and uh, I came here to Salem High School, and I know now that th there were a lot of things I, I was clueless to uh, when I was in high school, things that were occurring around me. And I'm certain that there are a lot of students here that, that are just not aware of, of some of the things going on around them. and so. Uh, some things I'd rather not share, but there are definitely things going on that students are not uh, aware of. Uh, there are some uh, drug and alcohol issues that run very deep with, you know, uh, within families with students that you know we're, we're helping them out with. Um, there are assaults of various types that are occurring that we're dealing with. Um, you know, and, and we're just trying to provide help, uh, and that's something I learned. Um, when I started here, I had a discussion with Judge Corby at the Salem District Court about, you know, how to how to approach these you know, the kids, the students, and and he and I both agree that uh, children make mistakes, and you hope that they learn from it. And so I'm I'm in a unique position where uh, we can offer help and try to rehabilitate some of the kids, and and, and so uh, and sometimes it's through the courts, and so it's been a very interesting position. Are you worried about a senior prank this year? A senior prank? I'll be the first to tell you I, I, I like an occasional prank and I've pulled a few on my friends. Uh, even at my age I'll pull a, an occasional prank. My only concern would be that, that if should there be a prank uh, that it's, it's thought out. Um, that no one's harmed that there's no damage uh, that could occur. You know, last year we had some kids put Vaseline on someone's window, car window, a couple of car windows, thinking they were going to be funny. Unfortunately, the sun melted that Vaseline that went down the window, and it damaged the, the window tracks. Uh, and there were hundreds of dollars in damages. They, they had to pull the door apart and, and, and fix it. And, and so am I concerned? No. I'm not too concerned. It, it really hasn't come up in the, you know, it's my fourth year of being here. There's nothing that really um, has caused me to be uh, too concerned, at least not at this point. 
And back to you, Kirsten and Peter. Thanks to all for some Norcross for the chance of having an interview with him. Now we have an interview with our very with SHS's own movie critic. He writes for the Blue Wink. I have with me right now Matt Veal. How's it going, Matt Veal? I'm doing fine, Peter. How have you been? I'm doing great. That's great, Peter. All right. So how long have you been working for the Blue Wink? I've been a part of the Blue Wink since my freshman year, and I've been writing movie reviews every issue. Okay. Um, so has there been any recent movies? Yes, two recent movies. First, I saw the Day the Earth Stood Still remake, which was terrible. It had no acting, no action sequences, and no really good special effects. And uh, Jane Smith and Keanu Reeves' acting was just very dull and annoying. Yeah. The movie gets a D-plus from my view. So what was the second movie? The second movie I saw was Taken. It was very well made. And it had great action sequences. It had... Um, Good acting from Liam Neeson. It had a great story, and um, it's one of back Fox's best offerings in a long, long time. So, um, the uh, it seems like you're very interested in movies. Yes, uh, I am. Are you awaiting any of the Oscars? Yes, uh, I've been Oscar waiting. Season? I've been waiting for it since November. So, do you have any Oscar predictions that you'd like to make? Well, first of all, I'll start with best supporting actor. It'll easily go to Heath Ledger. His yeah. performance in The Dark Knight was um, amazing, and no other actor could take that away from him. So who do you think is going to win for Best Picture, the biggest award of the... I honestly think it'll go to Slumdog Millionaire. I'm not the first person to say it, though, but I think it will go to Slumdog Millionaire. It, it was too perfect of a film. Even though I wanted The Dark Knight to be in the Best Picture um, category, even though it wasn't, I say it's Slumdog Millionaire. But it was too perfect of a film. No, it was nothing. It was unlike anything I've seen before. It was so good. So, um, for uh, upcoming movies, it seems like the summer is the uh, best time for movies. It seems like that's when all the big blockbusters come out. Yes. Have, have, uh, any in particular you wanting to see or planning to review? Well, one thing I am planning to review a lot of action movies like Terminator Salvation. Um, Transformers 2, X-Men Wolverine, and Star Trek. So, um, what are, speaking of, uh, Terminator, how do you feel about this whole Christian Bale, um, dilemma? He was probably stressed out. I don't give the guy a lot of heck. It's yeah. not his fault. And, um, Star Trek, uh, are you a fan of the, uh, Star Trek movies or uh, TV I shows? can be honest, I am not. I'm more of a Star Wars fan, but... I think J.J. Abrams remade it to make it appealing to anybody. Yeah. J.J. Abrams also worked on Lost, I understand. And a really good film called Cloverfield. Yes. Um, so uh, after the summer, the next big uh, movie time is usually the holidays around uh, winter time. So are there any movies you're looking forward to during the winter? Um. I'm looking forward to a lot of movies. Mainly, I am looking forward to James Cameron's Avatar. Well, uh, well, we've, we're glad to have you on the show, Matt. And, Anytime, uh, Peter. It's been good talking with you. Anytime. See you later, Peter. All right. See you. Now we have some news on the clubs at school. Yes, the first club we are going to talk about is the chess club. Okay. They had a Valentine's Day tournament this past Saturday, but love was not in the air for the Salem chess players. Although they did not do well in the tournament, the Salem chess players all went out to a nice restaurant to eat a nice post-tournament meal. It seems as if many clubs are having tournaments now because the Ping Pong Club held a tournament to find the 10 best people in Salem to go to Pinkerton and play ping pong against the players over there. The winner of the tournament was Seth Muhammad. It seems like Seth is a busy student right now. Yes, Seth is also in the Muslim Student Association, which will be starting up a fundraiser in March. They will be selling some donuts and coffee from Dunkin' Donuts in the morning, and all of the proceeds will go to either Red Cross or UNICEF. If you like Dunkin' Donuts but don't have time to go in the morning, be sure to keep a lookout for this fundraiser. Also, the literary magazine is in full swing this year, with submissions being encouraged from everyone. There are sign-ups posted all around the school, giving contact information if you are interested. Also, if you are interested in writing our school newspapers, Blue Ink is also looking for some writers for articles. 
also if you are interested in learning